Hello there, what are you expecting today? Because whatever you expect, that's exactly what you're going to receive. Let's talk about money, how to call in that harvest. How do you call in a harvest or how do you call in money? Um, I'm gonna share this manifestation story with you. Everything is energy. So a job, a car, a house, whatever, it's energy. Um, you've got to know how to work with the energy, pretty much. Meaning, how do you manipulate this energy? How do you, how are you supposed to manipulate it? What do you do when and how and what and where? So let's say that right now you're looking for a job. In fact, I'm going to share with you this manifestation story and uh, break it down for you. Listen to this video once again, because as you listen twice, it takes seven times for something to really go into the subconscious mind. But if you need to listen to it twice, you're always going to get a different perspective because a new level of awareness rises. I was looking for a job at the request and the call of my friends, my former CEO, um, two months after leaving my position as an executive assistant, um, not knowing what if I wanted to go back in the financial industry or do something else with my life. I was looking at my resources and they began to go low. Um, so I panicked a little bit and I said, well, I've already applied to 30 jobs. So in the course of two months, I've applied to 30 jobs on Indeed. So this particular morning, I rose under the compulsion um, and I said, no, wait a minute, God, I only need a job. It's as if, wait a second, why should I keep applying? I wasn't born to apply to jobs. That is not my purpose. My purpose is to get a job. So why should I habitually go and apply to 100 jobs a day? That is not my profession. <laughs> I'm not there to just spew out my resume endlessly. Just give and give my energy and spend my time and not invest. So nonetheless, after 30 resumes, and I know exactly 30, if not 31, because I remember the three, and it was either a zero or a one at the end. I woke up this morning and I said, all right, God, I said, you know what? I've done what you told me to do. In the natural, this is what I'm supposed to do. I said, somebody today is going to find my resume on their desk. So I rose, I kept rising in a different vibration. It's going to find my resume on their desk and immediately I saw a desk with papers on it and as if a hand was looking for something. And they're gonna call me and give me a job. I dictated how things are gonna go. What's gonna happen? Two hours later, if not less than that, a recruiter that I haven't spoken with three, four weeks prior, before the holiday, calls me and says, hey, Luminita, I was thinking about you this morning. Hmm, yes, of course. <laughs> no coincidence, no failure there. I have this position for you. Now I go to this interview, it's a $20 billion company um, a in the financial industry, they're managing that amount. And um, three hours in the interview, the lady slaps me across the arm and says, are you kidding me? And I said, no, this is how I ended up in the seat. So I took her all around the world, talked to her about mindset and high performance, and she says, I really like you. I've been with the CEO for over 20 years. He would love you. But have you thought about teaching this? I mean, it's like there's something about you. There's a gift. There's something about you. I've never had anybody manifest. Manifest. I taught her the word manifest so quickly. I said, you know what? I think I want to do that. Shook the hand, made a friend, walked out, never looked back, and started my business as a um, mindset coach and high performance mentor. Here's where I want you to look at the story. I've done in the natural what a male is supposed to do to a woman. You see, the woman has the egg and the woman says, listen, I want a baby. You never rarely hear a man that says, I want to have a baby with you. Women usually say, I don't know, I just want to have a baby because all of a sudden you have a desire. You just feel like I want, I want, I want to have a baby, right? And so the man says, okay, well, here I am. Now, when you put out resume, that's your baby because you're supposed to go at it with an image of the ideal job, ideal money, ideal office, maybe having a money tree in the corner. We used to have that. Whatever you want. You're saying, I want to have a female baby. All right, well, what would you like? Well, I want this and I want that and I want this and I want that. Now, of course, we can't do that in the natural, but we can in our imagination when it comes to anything else outside of that. 
everything outside there is it's like a baby somebody's baby right their business their money their income their car it's just a baby and so you're saying well this is the baby that i want this is the job that i want so you start with that first you decide on what it is you want you decide on the harvest first and then in the natural you are going as the male go towards the female and you're doing the action the physical work the man usually does the physical work when he drops the sperm into the um, woman so the woman is the receiving now a receiver of what a receiver of the seed receiver of this image of you being in the job and also she's the one that gives birth to it but understand that your consciousness is a conscious mind and that is the male and female so you're doing all you've got to learn how to do this what do you do first what do you do second how do you call in the harvest when is the time to call in the harvest when i rose up under the compulsion that morning i said now wait a minute there's been two months my money is running low like seriously my money is running low there's something i've got to do something about the circumstance and repentance is man's ability to respond to his own problem so i understood that as long as i was going to sit back wait around for something to happen maybe a company called me i had to call in a company i had to call in the harvest i had to demand it to come now you may find this hard to believe but this is how it works the law of demand you command when we say we claim or affirm that's a command now it goes from wishful thinking to the image to some action that you do to the point where there's going to be one last time you're going to say that affirmation which it becomes like a command and that is when your manifestation comes so what i'm sharing with you right now is this a lot of people say you don't have to take any action well how will that company know that you need a job if they don't even know you exist it makes no sense how will people say well how did you go from ten thousand dollar a month to a hundred thousand dollars a day why well, just at home well that's a hard story to believe and nobody's going to believe that testimony neither want to follow so automatically understand that even somebody such as me puts a youtube videos or a channel here on youtube this is an avenue a window of heaven through which my resources come in so according to the vision and the image and the baby that i hold within those are the people that i'm going to attract to this channel everybody is a part in a puzzle a piece of the puzzle in my big picture you are my soulmate you are coming into my reality as my mate to put this the soul or the picture that i have in my heart to bring it to reality my desire of my heart so in the same way when you work when you have a business everybody else outside of you is the resource or the soulmates that will bring your vision of your life to reality and this is how we exchange energy but you've got to learn how to bring in the harvest even peter had to go to the sea to catch a fish and take a coin out of his mouth it wasn't just going to fall out of the sky he had to go in his profession he was a fisherman you go in your business you go in your company you don't have to change companies you don't have to change businesses you go there an idea will be given to you how to attract more fish that have more money you know fish are referred uh, to people how to catch fish or how to catch people how to attract people now what did peter do after he fished all night when jesus went and said well take the nets and throw them on the other side of the boat and they were filled from the overflowing all he had to do was go back in the same go back in in the same company in his business in his assignment but all he needed to do was another idea oh flip it from here to over there don't just go and do all this physical work all you need is an idea to get an idea oh there is the fish in the sea with the coin in its mouth all you have to do is just flip the nets from one side to another these are the laws of the universe that we're operating with law of polarity law of abundance you have everything you need all you need is an idea all you need is a strategy but that's only two percent understand that you must expect to receive the coin in the mouth in the fish's mouth so how do we approach 
this action that we're taking. Oh, I'm going to apply to 100 jobs. I had a friend and he applied to 100 jobs a day. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe he was exaggerating. And to today, two years later, he still doesn't have a job. Of course, we've done coaching here and there, but no, they don't know what they want and they're not willing to be coached and to be mentored. To go from running after to putting yourself into a place to commend it to come. And that's called the attraction. Now you can sit there and wait for months and days and all of that, but at one point you're gonna get sick and tired of waiting and you're gonna to wanna to call in your harvest. Which means you're gonna hear something from someone as you can hear this, you can, you can get an idea from this video and say, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna call in my harvest. That's all you need. You may be somebody that has been waiting for a job, waiting for something to happen, and you say, why am I manifesting or creating and not manifesting? Look up. The harvest is already white. That's what the Bible says. You've got to look up. Look up at that image. It's already there. If it's above, it's right in front. You just need to know how to call it in. It's not a matter of time and space. It's a matter of how you operate the energy, which is nothing but your mouth or your thoughts or speech. As Neville said, when you think, the tongue makes small movements because that's the authority that you're releasing. And if you keep saying, I don't have, I don't have, you're releasing an authority of not having. I'm not seeing it. It's not there. It is there. You just got to call it in. You've applied to jobs. You just got to know how to call it in. How to cut and bring the harvest. To cut is to make a decision and say, today is the day when this happens. A mother says, today is the day my baby is coming. She knows the day. You're going to rise under the compulsion is now, wait a minute. How long am I, long am I going to wait for this? I've heard a lot of people say, you know what? I was tired of crying. And one day I said, God, something's be something better happen. Yeah, they just released authority for that thing to happen. It, uh, it is at your command. Your authority. The centurion went to Jesus and he said, okay. He said, just send the word. I am a man of authority too. And when I say to someone, go, they go. When I say, come, they come. Come, something has to happen. Go, something has to go. The female and the male component in all of us. You're putting all the action, but learn how to bring in. Learn how, learn how to call it in. Because you're a man of authority, and authority is in the tongue. Your command and authority is in the tongue. Learn how to operate with the energy and how to shift it and manipulate it. Energy is your thoughts and speech. Learn how to manipulate this and the picture. If you've got a clear picture, that means it's right in front of you. You just need to learn how to release it. That's your power. That's your authority. You've got to learn how to use it. How to harvest the money. Yeah, you harvest money. And the way you harvest is after you apply to a thousand jobs, if that's your liking, then there's got to come a time when you're going to take matters in your own hands. You're going to take control of your thinking, of that idea of continuing to infinity to apply. You've got to take a hold of that idea and say, now, wait a minute, why isn't this not working? Well, because you're sending this idea of, of, to infinity of I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply. But you're never saying I'm going to get a job and I'm getting a job and I have a job. You're not shortening the distance. You just keep going into eternity with that idea. Well, that's what people say. I'm just going to apply. Well, that's what people say. I'm going to network. That's what people say. I'm going to do that. That's level one of awareness, according to what the masses are seeing and hearing. But there are seven levels of awareness. Seventh level of awareness is mastery of this energy. When you say, do things happen? Now, that's seventh level of awareness. I just spoke with a prospect from England about an hour ago. And uh, he works as a product distributor in a company. Um, and he also started a side business as a travel independent travel agent where you recruit um, independent consultant, consultants under you. Um, the system is an MLM. You have residual income um, and um, the distribution of 
travel is done through membership. So people become members on the site and they have big discounts when they travel. His approach was to go and convince the people, his um, agents that he was going to recruit, to make time to add another source of income to their busy lifestyles. And he was met with, listen, I don't have more time. And what he would encourage them is to say, well, make more time because you can make time if you want it. Or so the bottom line is the person doesn't want to extenuate their energy because time and money are two different things. They're not the same thing. And so his approach of going to finding agents and then selling to people was, well, yeah, but it's only less than a dollar a day. He was trying to convince people to buy his product and this mental state of survival, it repels, it repels. And so I had to bring awareness as to his, how he connects the dots and how he's thinking that if he wants to go from a thousand dollars a day to $20,000 a day, and this is in pounds because he's in England, I said, let me show you first what's happening and what you should be doing instead. Now, 98% of our results are a reflection of the 98% mindset that we have in the mind. So if he's not seeing what he's doing wrong, the mind that created the problem, can the same mind cannot create the solution. So to take someone from where they are to where they want to be, they have got to let go of where they're at. And for us to change our lives, we've got to learn how to work with energy, know what the energy is, how we work, how we operate with it. Because if we don't, we are going to be the victim of our own speech. I've said it and I'll say it again. Your physical body will never go beyond the image that you planted in the mind. How could I have put myself on the beach five days later after I manifested and I commended the luggage and I told the luggage, I said, we're going to go on another trip. That very hour, my friend called me and said, we're going on another trip. How, can, how could I have gone beyond that beach trip go someplace else if I didn't put myself someplace else. No, I had to come home. Your physical body will not experience more than what you have allowed yourself to see. So if you're manifesting a thousand dollars extra a month, understand that the next month you're going to have to manifest it again. Why not call in a bountiful har harvest? Why not go from a free cup of coffee to $20,000 a day, $100,000 a day? What's the difference? The picture and purpose. Every picture has a purpose. This is a picture. If I was going to stay still, you would say it's a picture. But in reality, it has a purpose. The picture of your $10,000 or $100,000 a day in your mind is just a picture. But in reality, it has a purpose. What purpose? Well, money, you can exchange it for anything. You can buy a dresser, you can buy a box, you can buy pictures, you can buy clothes, you can buy whatever. That's the purpose of money. You assign purpose to money. You're free to assign a purpose to money. It's at your own accord, what you decide, what you like, what's your pleasure, what it is you want that money to uh, create for you. So if you want to keep running after $1,000 every month, remember what you send forward, you're going to meet up with it until eternity, until you stop it and you say, no, I don't want to make a thousand a month. I want to make $20,000 a day. And, and then you have to change the mindset. Wait a minute. I changed my mindset. I'm learning how to work with energy. I understand that I've done a lot of doing. I've done the, the masculine side of things. Now, how can you teach a man to become feminine, to go into the receiving? And call in his harvest. Now that's not as easy. That's not as easy. There are people out there that you might call, in, you know, um, conscious incompetent, right? They're they're consciously incompetent. That means um, consciously they don't know how they have achieved their success. Which means when I work in a company and we have our business side. Um, our program um, for business, I find that if there is someone in the company that is bringing in most of the sales, if you ask that person, so what's your secret? They're going to tell you what they're doing. They can pinpoint uh, their mindset. 
they cannot say, well, this is what I'm thinking. What they're going to say is, this is what I'm doing. And it's not in the doing. It's in the being. The being inside. The energy inside. He doesn't pay attention to what he's thinking, yet he's, it's producing results. So he gives credit to what he's doing. And so people in the company, they start doing the same thing, not realizing, no, wait a minute. I'm not getting the same results because he's working with a different picture. You attract resources according to the picture that fit that picture. But when you bring this awareness, that is when people change. So what picture are you working with when it comes to your money? What is the purpose of money that you're calling in, that you're planting, first of all? And to plant a seed, understand you can plant an acorn, you're going to get a, um, an oak tree. You plant a corn seed, you're going to get a corn husk. So what are you planting? Are you planting only in one acorn, one carrot seed, one tomato plant? Or you're saying, I am planting 100,000 plants a day. 100,000 plants a day. I plant 100,000 plants a day. There's a time to plant and a time to harvest. But remember, every farmer has to keep planting and harvesting, planting and harvesting. What I have learned from my coach and mentor is to keep planting every single day. Those are affirmations. Keep planting the picture. Keep planting. Keep planting. And you know what? If you want to change the picture and make it bigger, make it bigger. But don't change between the harvest. And harvest that, but continue to plant. Because here's what happens. After you harvest, if you don't continue to plant the seed, if you don't continue affirming, it stops. The harvest stops. When you affirm, you're actually commending. So this is how you work with energy. This is how you work with energy. Okay? Energy is your thoughts. This is how you work with thoughts. You learn how to put thoughts together to create ideas. And knowing how to put thoughts together at what point and how to work with all of that and how to work with this image, um, it's key to our manifestation. So... Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate all of you. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in our Manifest Without Money program. There's the link below. If you feel like it, come within the program. If not, that's okay. There's a time for everything. So I will see you in the next video. Bye now.